Hi guys! So today I want to talk about the Soma water pitcher as well as the filter even though water of course and the taste that is all dependent on the individual person. So I'm mostly going to focus on this pitcher as well as the design compared to the actual taste. Before I got the Soma water pitcher, I had the Brita. So I have been using the Brita for a while, for over a year now, probably more than two years even. And the main reason I decided to switch was because I did start noticing that the water wasn't tasting as great. And also I remembered purchasing a Soma um, about four years ago when I was still living in New Jersey when Soma first came out. I purchased their other container, the Caraf, Carafe, how do you pronounce that? I'm not sure. But it was the hourglass design and it's really pretty. Um, the top design of that is still similar to this one where they have it designed this way so that when you're pouring in water from your faucet that it will push this down and make it easy. So basically the way they designed it is that you never have to remove this top portion unless you are replacing the filter. And then this lip design allows you to pour it out while at the same time leaving the lid on all the time. So this water filter fits 80 ounces, I believe it says on the website. So it is a pretty good size and I do like it a lot because it allows me to fill it up less if that makes any sense because this one is pretty small. I don't remember what the size is, maybe I can take a look. Okay, so this doesn't say but I would imagine that it is around 40 ounces because whenever I have this full, it pretty much fills up my entire water bottle and I have a 40 ounce. So this definitely holds a good amount of water and the design as well is very visually appealing. I like the handle, it's nice and sturdy and I do like everything about it. However, there are definitely design flaws in the lid that I will go over now that sometimes bothers me but I have found my ways around it. Okay, so the way they have it designed is that when you put it under running water, it will push this lid down and fill it up. So it comes up automatically, which is great. However, so I anticipate that tends to happen when the lid is wet because then the water, I don't know the scientific term for it, but you know how um, if the surface is wet and you put a piece of paper on it, then it becomes more sticky. This is the same situation going on. So what ends up happening is a lot of the time when that happens, it's not always consistent is what I'm saying. This lid going down, sometimes I have to like push it down with my faucet. So that is the one workaround which I have an issue with. And then when it comes to pouring, the best way for this to pour well is obviously when this is lifted up like this, right? But sometimes this does not lift up and it stays down and it becomes a mess. So take a look. See what's happening right now? The lip stayed down, which meant that the water was dribbling down the side. My workaround for that has become that anytime I want to pour with this, I jerk it forward to sort of force the lip open. So what I end up doing is I go like that. So you use the force of the water to push it forward. All right, so those are the two main issues that I have with the design of the lid. And I will say that when it comes to designing it that way, it does bother me that both of them have issues. So it's creative where they want you to leave the lid on so you can fill it up as well as pour with it at the same time. But both features have an issue. They're not designed well. So you need to use these workarounds to get it to work properly. So I would say design-wise, that's not a good thing for it to be like that. However, I do enjoy drinking the water and I do think it is a step up from what I was tasting with the Brita. That is the main reason why I'm gonna continue using this, aside from dealing with these annoying things, but I thought that those were important things to mention because on a daily basis, I deal with them, and I think it's important for consumers to know what you'll experience when you buy this pitcher. I would say those are pretty much my only thoughts when it comes to this. I personally think the water tastes good, and I like the size of the pitcher. 
Um, they recommend that you replace the filter every two months. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Bye.